How you doing? Pack Eye Plies RC coming through with the main cave. Got the DH18 for Beechcraft. E Flight. Beechcraft is the maker of the actual full size airplane. But we're going to go ahead and do the assembly. Now, your entire assembly will be done with one Phillips head screwdriver. All right. Two screws for your horizontal, four screws for your main wing. Now, I highly suggest laying your main wing section down flat and then applying the fuselage on top of that, making sure because you're going to be applying that on there, okay? If you look, you've got all kinds of wires and things hanging. Okay, so for that reason, you can see down in it, I'm going to go ahead and set that on there, okay, just going to see, you can see obviously how it set that on there, and then I'm going to pull some items up through here, where they sit up where I can get to them, and they're not going to be pinched, so that's the last thing, you don't want anything pinched, okay, pull your battery lead up, then work your hand underneath there and then it's going to just sit down in there just like a big piece of a puzzle and I can see that up, 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 there's one thing if you look up in there there's a wire being pinched so let's, let's take that apart up, oh, never mind no, it's not being pinched. It's down in this bottom section. It's out of the way. Never mind. It just appeared to be pinched. All right, so we'll get that in there. So it's only going to fit one way. Okay. Everything looks good. And then. Have, oh, don't do that. Have yourself a pillow. This, is, this isn't one of those things where I'd use a plane stand. Because I want something to give me some resistance against the entire opened area. Okay? And I'm going to put that on that pillow there. This is where you're going to take your Phillips head screwdriver. These little button head screws are not self-tapping, they're machine screws. I, it says in the, the uh, these are 10 millimeter button head. Fit down in here. Like so. You see that pillow? Oh, and the nose is plastic, so that's nice. Okay. So you can set it on its nose for storage in your house or wherever it is you keep your planes at. I'm not cinching them down just yet. Just getting in there to hold everything in place. I'll cinch everything down in just a second. Okay. So I want to be able to feel the other side. Okay, felt it get tight there. I'm going to have one screw left over because if you're like me, you lose screws and then you lose those things. I already got enough lot loose screws as it is. By the way, get yourself these little magnetic trays. It's just such a lifesaver. It really is. And let's verify again that everything, the seam looks good. Nothing appears to be in distress or being pinched. Or anything okay nothing sticking out the sides where the hinge is oh I'm not the hinge the seam all right so now we can kind of cinch this down now anytime I mean yeah the metal screws are going into a metal housing but that's all glued into plastic all right so you've got this plastic back plate here, same for here. What I like to do, and I'm watching this seam here, I'm watching this seam disappear as I crank it down. Okay? 
also, I'm also making sure that if this doubler here starts sinking into the foam and making it crease, stop. Don't go any further. Okay. It, it, it's obvious when it's, it's down there. I mean, it's there. Okay. You'll, you'll tell when it's, back, when, it's, when it's bottomed out there. Get it all the way down there, and then, and then when you know it's tight as you want to get it, nice and tight, then kind of back up just a touch. You know. I mean, just a smidgen back off. Now, that, that is on there. While we're in this section, I wish I had more light here. You can see the antenna, okay? The antenna. If you look right here, there's a little placard that says, insert antenna here. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to insert antenna there. Feed that all the way back. Don't feed it all the way where you get tight. It's a real tight, super tight, you know, putting pressure on where the antenna comes out of the receiver. But just a nice, gentle loop. It'll stay back in there. If it, if it bothers you, you're afraid it's going to come out, put your little piece of tape or something right there. In fact, let's just do that. And that way we know that that antenna not going to back itself out from that spot there. Okay, this little piece of tape, a little bit of insurance policy. Now, they give you an AS3X lead. I consider that, I mean, I mean a bind lead, I consider that free um, material because I'm going to use the big old button on the top of that antenna on top of that receiver to bind this thing with, and that's one more wire out of the way. The other thing is, uh-oh, 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 I see something that's a problem. There is a servo lead hanging out right there. So I need to figure out just what that is. What on earth could that be? Doesn't say anything about that. So, remember I said, you know, you will look at things real good. We're going to take that back off there. And I didn't see that. We're going to see just what that is. And mystery and my screwdriver's coming out of me. Sorry folks. When in doubt, resort to Chinese. Hey, wait a minute. Aha! <laughs> Magnetic tip. Good old Phillips screwdriver. I think it's a I don't know brand Stanley, I guess. These are just things that you're going to you're going to come across, you know. Okay. Now, now I wish I hadn't put that tape on that antenna. <laughs> all right, all my screws just fell out. One, two. Take the receiver out of there. Take the receiver of the antenna out. Of and what is that? That's just sticking out. Look at that. That is sticking out underneath this quick cadet here. So I have no idea. All right, well, I'm going to have to figure that out. Let me pause the camera.
figure it out, and then I'll tell you what it is while I try to do some research. Thank you. All right, folks, we're back. And as far as the mystery servo lead that you may see sticking out of the top of the rear of your Avian um, ESC, I have no idea. It does not mention it anywhere in the manual. I watched, um, I mean, if Brian Phillips misses it, everybody's going to miss it. I rewatched his video. And um, he does. I, you can see it plain as day, and, and he doesn't address it or say anything about it. The only thing I can, it, it, doesn't, it can't have anything to do with the uh, thrust reversing, because that's already part of the. Uh, let's put that antenna back in where we did earlier. And uh, okay, I'll let you know it. No, I can't. Okay. All right. Threading the needle. Well, anyways, it doesn't mention anywhere in the guide. It doesn't mention I didn't see it anywhere on his video, so I can't figure it out. Everything else seems to be plugged in and wired, so I don't know. All right, well, we're just going to continue on, and whatever doesn't work once I get it bound up and everything, well, that must be it. <laughs> Process of elimination. All right, we're going to put the hatch back on, which pops into place, um, yeah, like that, so, and that's the first time that's been on there, and that, is, I mean, that's, those screws, you can, they're very obvious, and whenever that, those seams, when they get level and, and even, you know you're down, watch for these plastic jobbers, make, like I said earlier, make sure they don't start dipping in Buying, you'll see them wrinkling into the foam. If you do that, you've gone way too, too hard. All right, and these are the props are nine by five by seven by five. So and they're already hooked up. So now we're going to turn our attention, take that back off, to the tail. It says in the instructions. This is a two-part installation. Um, says the instruction, you're going to use the the uh, two uh, the ten, uh, ten millimeter self-tapping self screws. They're 2.6 by 10 millimeter self-tapping screws. Okay. Now, if you look on the plane, get a hole over here. Right there is like a little tiller arm. Okay. And it has a little oval channel in there. And in that oval channel, you see there's this peg here. See them? And that, that, that little channel is going to move back and forth. And it, let's see what's happening. I'm moving that back and forth. Guess what that is? That moves my rudder. Okay, now, something we got to do, and, and I. I Saw this on Brian Phillips, and I was like, yeah, you're going to have to do that. I'm going to have to disengage, disengage the elevator um, servo, which I'm going to kind of grab it a little bit. Okay, so it's not that one. So you see what I'm doing? If you can't quite, you don't want to dry, you don't want to grab your servos and make them move um, by pushing them. You just, it, you just, it's not good to do. I mean, if you have to, you have to. But I want to identify which which is the elevator and which is the rudder. Okay, and there's not always a set rule. Keep your eye right there in that channel there. Look for movement. And all I'm doing is grabbing, see it move back and forth? All right, so I know that this servo, if you hold the plane like this, this bottom servo is what controls that elevator. All right, so what I want to do just to make my life easier, okay, I'm going to take a screw, and man, I just have no place to hold this, and I'm going to take this arm off, the servo arm here off, okay, and uh, disengage that so I can easily grab a hold of it, 
of the clevis and hook it here. Okay. So, in order to do that, we're going to need a smaller Phillips head screwdriver. Put my finger against it. Remember, left to loose, right to tight. Okay. Work that loose. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. Okay. And I'm going to unhook it. It has a Z bend. Just going to undo the Z bend. Take the arm off. And I'm going to push this out. I'm going to pull this out here. Push back the tape. Open up my clutch of the tape. Push back the uh, the rubber fuel tubing. Okay. The instructions say to hook this up to the very bottom horn on the uh, elevator. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Pinch it open. I don't know how you're going to be able to see this? I'm going to pinch that open. Bottom arm, the bottom hole in the control arm. I'm going to pinch open the clevis. I mean, it's very obvious. I'm sorry I can't really show you without picking up the camera. I can't pick up the camera and film at the same time. I may pick up the camera, film, and build, and narrate all at the same time. I mean, I am not an octopus. All right. I got that on there. Slide the fuel tubing back up over there and that fuel tubing has just become a standard okay now this is where you're going to have to pay attention you have to pay attention to all of it but you want that to rock in there i'm wanting to make sure remember that little metal pin that moved the rudders back and forth and that little tiller arm you can see it from the side i want to make sure that that engages in there and it does Everything fits together nice and happy. Happy, happy, happy. Like that. Okay. And this has the self tapping screws. When you get down to the build, you should have one self tapping screw and one of the button head screws left over. in there. Remember, you're doing, now you're going to plastic, so you don't want to get too crazy tight. You want it to be good and tight, but not so tight that you feel like it's cracking. Okay. You, one, one thing you can do to tell if you're doing it right, if you put your hands down here and you feel your finger on that seam, and that seam gets less and tighter and tighter and it stops, that's another way of telling you to do it right. Okay, that's nice and tight. You know what? They have bottomed out the screwdriver there. Okay, yeah. That. That's on there. Okay, now we're going to turn our attention back. Back. To my elevator. Um, servo. I took that arm off and you'll see that Z bend there. So you're going to take your your little, your little um, servo arm and feed that back on that Z bend and put that back on there. Let me remember, make sure the manual of where, because I don't remember what hole it came out of the, out of the arm. So dang it, I should have looked at that. Okay. Elevator. Okay. On the servo arm, because you look right here in the manual on page 13, the, the elevator servo arm, and it is the third end hole to the top. So this is the top third hole in. 
Okay, so I'm going to take that. Okay. And I'm going to feed that into that third hole. It's obvious. I mean, you can look right at it and see. Rotate it around. Try it again because I lost connection there. Rotate it around. Careful that uh, antenna you got right there. Okay. Hopefully my servo is centered. If not, I can always, what I can do, like say I, I didn't quite center that servo when I, I mechanically moved it like I shouldn't have, but I had to in order to undo that. What you can do, when, once you bind it up, get everything ready to go, and then the servo will automatically go to center. Unhook it, unhook the servo arm like I just did, lift it up off there, and hope and then put that servo arm back down at 90 degree angle which is where it should be and then that should give you your full travel you should put it right back just a little easier to do than taking the tail back off and taking your clevis and rotating out rotating in with it with these e-flight planes they're gone they're usually 999.999 percent .999 of the time they're spot on anyway all right, now, something I figured out, I read in the addendum, that remember when the unboxing, we couldn't figure out what that piece of wood was? What it is, it's a, a guide. Once you get the aircraft uh, bound up, you're going to put this piece of wood in there, and then that elevator should rest right in there. It should have, a, it says that it should have a little bit of down... For level flight with a recommended battery, the elevator should be flected down a small amount. And if you look, I just hooked it up. The elevator is down just a little bit. Of course, that may be how I've got it hooked up here, what I just did. So, who knows? All right. And folks, I'm telling you, we're really, believe it or not, really getting close to finishing this model. The only thing left to do in the basic build of it is you're going to take your wing halves you're going to feed your spar in you're going to put them in as far as you'll feel it stop it's very obvious there's only one place that spar can go okay now it's going to be a tight fit or at least it should be if you want a tight fit let that pop in there doesn't see how it popped right in all right Rotate it back and kind of, kind of manhandle it back and forth, and yeah, that's in there. Okay, take the other one, put it in your. And if it doesn't pop right, if you don't hear that pop right in, like I said, kind of massage it back and forth, and that should pop in for you. Let me just show you, give you an up close look of what's happening here. Okay, I really wish I had someone to film for me. Okay. All right. Oh, hey. You look. Oh, shoot. As you can see, see those those little fork-looking things? Got two forks on them. My, my fingers on right one right now. Those are going to rotate into those holes. Okay. All right. Like I said, they should get right in there. Grab your side of the model. Okay. Yeah, see, I had the one that popped in the front, and then I kind of, to the front, and then I kind of pushed it to the back, and it rotated in. And folks, for the assembly, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? It's done. All we got to do now is do all the radio work. Now, my antenna's a little bent. Okay, send it back. My antenna's bent. Forget that. Sorry, Verizon. You got a piece of crap here. You got a bent antenna. But look at this model. I mean, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And these landing, you know, like I said, got a metal nose cone so you can set it down on the ground. Big, thick tires, okay? Um, big, heavy duty uh, trunnion where the, where the uh, retracts are joined in there. Yeah, this is, I think this will do great on grass. Uh, look how thick these wheels are. These are almost an inch thick. So yeah, you should do really, really well. And uh, anyways, so 
We'll get her all bound up. And I'll give you my uh, post build video on it. But that was the build. That's when we put it together. Basic build. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to faith, family, and friends, and then planes. And even the beautiful civilian, RC civilian plane. Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> Gotta turn the camera off here. <laughs>